up you guys welcome back to my channel at the real Lovely. if you are new to this channel please go ahead and subscribe give this video a big thumbs up and also turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time I upload a new video but without further ado let's get into this video as you can see from the thumbnail and the title in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Jordan 1 shoe balloon mosaic frame I won't be filling this frame with balloons today but I will be showing you guys the hardest part which is making the frame this specific frame is for a customer so she will be filling that with balloons herself the link for this template will be in the description box down below to the Etsy shop that I got it from and also a link to the video of how to put it together. So after I put it together and cut it out, I place it on top of my foam board. I use three whole 30 by 20 foam boards from Hobby Lobby. I glued them together and put this um, template on top of it then cut it out. So after I draw out the shape of the shoe onto the foam board, it's time for me to go in and start drawing out the inside details, which are these lines, the check mark, and all of those um, fine details on the foam board. But instead of freehanding that, I used a pencil or the back of my Zacto knife to press down on those lines so it will leave a mark in the foam board. Then I go in with my pencil and draw those lines. It's okay for you to freehand it, or if, you're feel, if you feel comfortable doing that, then by all means go ahead. But I like when things are perfect, so that's why I did it the way I did. But you're welcome to freehand it if you want. So after I draw all of those details on the foam board, it's time for me to start making the frames. I have a six inch strip of foam board in front of me. I cut a lot of these off camera because I'm always making mosaic frames. So I have a lot of them around the house. This is a six inch piece of foam board and you're gonna see how I cut them later on. But, this, but these are strips of foam board that are six inches wide and what I'm doing is cutting, is scoring the foam board. I'm not cutting it all the way through. The foam boards have three layers. You have the um, paper on top, then the foam in the middle and then paper at the bottom. I'm just cutting through the first layer of paper and through the foam but not through the bottom layer of paper. So that is how I cut the foam boards in order for me to bend it. And I need to bend my foam boards for all the curves and corners that's on this mosaic frame. So these strips of foam boards are what I use to create the outer um, part of the frame and also the inside lines. And you'll see exactly how I'm doing that. Right now I'm using the matte finish scotch tape to tape the foam board onto the other foam board before I glue it. This is a new technique I started doing just so I don't have to hold on to the foam board until it's dry. I just tape it, glue it, and then move on to the next step. I use a matte finish tape because after the glue is dry, the tape is really easy to rip off of the foam board and it does not tear it at all.
sometimes when you score a foam board for a curve or a corner the line the scored line is too big so all you have to do is just take your knife and cut one of those um, lines in half and then you'll be able to fit the foam board right in that curve instead of cutting it and then gluing on another piece again like you just see me do I just take my um, Zacto knife and cut one of those lines in half and it fit perfectly in that curve Now I'm going to take my 6 inch strips and repeat the same steps for the inner lines. For all the curves, remember that you score your foam board in order for it to bend. If the curves are smaller or sharp, then you make your score lines real small. all right you guys so this is all i have done so far i don't have too much left to do i have to do the check mark finish up these lines and that line and then i'm done not too much to do i am finished with the bottom part and over here y'all the curves like this one it was a struggle not to um to do but a struggle to glue it onto the foam board because you have to, you can't just glue it all at once you have to do it a little bit by a little bit so I start at the corner right there I glued I glued the um this piece onto the the um, outer foam board and then I start gluing it a little by little until I got all the way around but don't try to glue it all at once because it's gonna shift and it's not gonna um, be lined up properly so just glue it a little by little. It takes some time, so yeah, that's that. You have to put a lot of pressure on it in order for it to dry. But this is all I have left, and I'll just finish up tomorrow. So yeah, I see y'all when I'm finishing up. Hi you guys, so it's day two and I am back. I only spent two hours doing the 
um, mosaic frame yesterday so today I'm planning to just do another two hours and finish it off so for some of the curved lines inside your foam board that you already um, scored to make bendable might not be flexible enough for some of these lines so all you have to do is just take it and bend it the other direction and then you're gonna be able to um, move the foam board more freely on some of these curved lines just like you see me doing right now I'm just bending it some more so it'd be more flexible in order for me to put on these lines because some of these lines in this particular mosaic they're really like wavy so I need to make my foam board really flexible
Okay, you guys, so this is the final look for the Jordan 1 balloon mosaic frame. Let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment section below. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, why? Just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Also, turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. This tutorial was inspired by Fashion Balloons on Instagram. I saw her work on my page the other day and I really wanted to try this. So someone else reached out to me like a couple days after I saw it and asked if I could make it for them. So I took it as a great opportunity to um, make a tutorial for you guys as well as challenge myself so you guys will see her work at the end of this video so you guys will have an idea how it looks with balloons in it and i will catch you guys in my next video bye